Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video as you can see from the title it is a vlog video but it's not a week in the life, it's not a day in the life, it's really a solo trip in the life video. Now today is October the 26th, it is a Monday and it is 9.06 a.m. and nothing special about October 26th other than the fact that it's my grandfather's birthday and I have to wish him a happy birthday but nothing, you know, it's not a holiday, not Labor Day weekend, it's just a regular Monday and I decided on this regular Monday I wanted to take a trip to the North Carolina mountains Asheville in particular just by myself with Winnie of course but I just wanted to take a kind of trip to clear my mind like I feel like with the quarantine and everything I haven't been anywhere outside of the 704 I literally have not been anywhere and I just wanted to go somewhere I thought would be a little less crowded it's a Monday so it's a little less crowded very airy mountain air is supposed to be the best air and I just wanted to kind of chill you know I talked about my last weekday in the life vlog that one of my colleagues was leaving and so we were going to divvy up his role so I have more on my plate coming up when I do go back to work and I wanted to really clear my mind focus myself before I really dive deep into extra roles extra work really getting into Q4 with Leah LaVon and my channel because you know November and December are one of the top months for content creating if you want to put yourself out there it's kind of like sweeps week in content creating so I just wanted to refocus weekend or weekday or trip and that's what today's video is so I'm going to take you along on my journey I have to shower I have to take Winnie out and use the restroom I have to pack I have everything together I just have to pack make sure I do little tit tats to clean up my house it's already pretty clean but I have to do all that and I will take you guys along on said journey so if you want to go on this trip in the life vlog video don't know what I'm going to title it but you guys saw what it entails just keep watching So now I am back. I did my makeup. I think I went a little too fall glampy. Like, I don't know. I was going for a fall look. I think I went a little too dark on the eyes. A little darker than I normally do. I never underline my eyes and I did it today. I don't know why I was going for a smoky look, but I digress. I am about to start packing now. My suitcase is right here. My suitcase is pretty much packed for the most part with just things that I always had in there from like you guys know I traveled for work so I always kept the spare bonnet in there that was always in there. My makeup kit that's in there always stayed in there. Like I don't have to take makeup from over here and put it in here because everything was always in there. I have a foundation, eyeliner, brow pencil, everything was in there because I just knew 2020 I was going to be at at least 10, 12 places this year. But life had different uh, you know ideas for 2020. So I'm just gonna put my stuff in here. I'm gonna pack Winnie's stuff. I hope I don't forget anything for Winnie. This is the first time I've traveled with Winnie. I've traveled with my dog in the past before, but I've never traveled with Winnie. So I hope I don't forget anything for her. Another thing that made me choose Asheville for my trip, I want to admit this right now. Uh, my coworker who's leaving, his birthday is November 5th, I believe. And him and his family and his wife were going to Asheville for his birthday. And then him and his family canceled because they felt like with that being a couple of days after the election, you just don't know what it's going to be like. You don't know how 
it's going to feel like hopefully the election goes one way but either way it goes there's gonna be angry people on either side so just to like keep it calm he didn't want to go on his birthday but I was like I go October 26th that's before the election when things are nice and pleasant and we don't know what life is gonna bring and I've already voted so my conscience is clear but I'm hoping America does its part as well to vote uh, this upcoming election so right now I'm in the blissfulness of not knowing what election day will bring as I'm posting this I'm sure we all know which way it went but I think it's it's best Asheville is a nice peaceful city it's very liberal it's like a, a very liberal area but the mountain region of North Carolina outside of it can be very um when I drove to Knoxville and I drove past like Nashville and I drove to parts of the mountains of North Carolina I had never seen before I saw more confederate flags than I think I've ever seen in my life on a road before like just going so I didn't know western North Carolina Carolina was that um, deeply rooted in the south I'll say so uh, Asheville though is not every time I go there it's, it's like the hipster city of North Carolina and it's also called dog USA all of a sudden so it's supposed to be very dog friendly you can do dog friendly activities there so that's why I thought it was best so let me pack up and then we're gonna really hit the road I think it is right now 10 30 I wanted to leave by 10 30 but it looks like we're probably gonna leave closer to 11 which is fine because I can't check in till four anyways it's only a two hour drive from here in Charlotte to Asheville so it's not that long of a journey I won't be in the car too long with Winnie I don't know how she'll do with long trips as of yet her still being a puppy we'll see how she does So now I am done packing. Uh, Winnie is excited and ready to go. My home is clean. Don't you always feel great when you go somewhere and your house is clean? I spent all day Sunday. It was a rainy Sunday here. Um, so I spent all day Sunday uh, cleaning up so that I could come back to a clean house. The, oh, the one thing I forgot. Winnie, we forgot. I forgot to bring your toy. You can pick out two toys. Which toys do you want to bring with you? Which toys? I know you love, no, you love lamb chop and... I forgot to pack you another toy. Let's see, this is her toy box. Um, we really like this one, as you can tell, it's super dirty. So I'll pack these two toys. Okay, so I guess you love that one. We're gonna pack these two up and we're gonna head out. I have made it. It was a long drive. Winnie was such a perfect angel. I'm in the park right now. It's French Board Park. It is 1.23 p.m. Um, we don't check into the hotel till 4. Well, who doesn't check in early to hotels? So we'll probably get there early, but I wanted to take her to the park first because she was such a good girl throughout the whole ride that I want her to, you know, play in the park for a little bit, use the restroom. I always, before, let me turn the air down so you guys can actually hear me. Before I actually like check in and stuff, I always like to see the Blue Ridge Parkway in Asheville, one of my favorite things in Asheville. I'm such a mountains person. I should have led the video with that. I'm such a mountains person. Um, my aunt used to take me every every like fall season to go to the mountains she used to live in West Virginia too so she was really much so into the mountains so I think it trickled off into me I love the mountains more than I do the beach so I'm very excited to be here in Asheville today so I will uh, go take Winnie in the park I think they have a dog area so I'll do that as well um, then I'll go see the parkway and just see the foliage and the Blue Ridge and all that and then it'll probably be time for me to check in
so we made it to one of the overlooks at the mountains let me roll my window down i'm not letting winnie out at any of these mountainous things because of course winnie being a baby is not going to but i want her to see it do you see the mountains winnie oh see the rocks back there you see the mountains So we have got to the hotel, checked in. It is 4.31, so checked in a couple minutes ago. Just giving you a tour of the facility, Winnie. Oh, we gotta go to the restroom? Okay, so we'll do the tour after the restroom. Okay, we'll go, we'll go to the bathroom first. Just wanted to give you a tour of the place. So this is the living room, it has a little TV in here. And this actually room will sleep four, I think, because I think that's a pull-out couch. Again, I've stayed here before. Not I think, I, I think I know that this pulls out. So I've stayed at one of these before, except I had a two bedroom and it was like six of us, I believe, who stayed here. So the couch pulls out. So if I had anybody else, they could stay here. And then the TV, and then a big old table. And then, there's a kitchen area with the whole sink and the whole stove. Again, like it's a place where like you could literally stay for quite some time if you wanted to have a fridge. And then the room itself, I already put my purse down, but here's the room. Also a TV in here. And then we have the bathroom, which is grand. I'm filming this with my vlogging camera and then my phone, if you can see too, just to see whichever version you see right now um, is gonna be the better version. So I don't know if my phone is giving better quality or my camera, but whatever you're seeing right now is what you're seeing. And then the shower, toilet, bathroom. Oh, and they have a balcony too. Also, there's a washer dryer in here too. I mean, it's not a new fangled one, it's an old one, but there is a washer dryer in here. So I just kind of got settled in. Um, I called my mom because I had to make sure, well she wanted to make sure I got here right. You guys know, no matter how old you get, I'm in my 30s, my mom still wants to make sure, did you get that all right? Especially if I go somewhere alone. I guess if I'm with a friend, she's a little less you know, antsy if I'm going somewhere alone, especially like when I used to travel for work, she would be like, did you get there, did you get there? So I called her and let her know I'm here. I checked online, they have a restaurant on site. I don't know whether I wanna go there or eat or have it delivered to my room. They'll deliver it to your room. They have like Southern cuisine. I was looking at the menu. They have chicken and waffles. They have steak. They have burgers. They have tacos steak fries, all that good stuff. And it's pretty reasonably priced. Like it's not like an over expensive restaurant. Like the chicken and waffles is $11. Uh, so I was gonna leave, but I think I wanna settle in for the night because it is 5.10. And I typically post, you guys know, know from my last vlog, Monday at six. And I'm not gonna stop posting today. Like just because I'm here, doesn't mean I'm gonna stop posting. Just because next week, I think I'm gonna take a little break from posting. Just with, again, next week, a week from tomorrow is election day. And I just feel like whatever way it goes, like whether I'm happy with the result or not happy, I think I just need to sit in the moment for a little bit. So I may post my Monday video next week, but I probably won't post again the rest of the week, possibly. I don't know, don't hold me to that. But the way I'm feeling right now, I think today or this week is gonna be a normal posting week of 
walking. All I am is here at the hotel. Tomorrow we'll go exploring again. They have like a tour of the city and I might just do the tour of the city. Dogs are welcome on the tour. They have to be under 25 pounds. So I'll probably go on a tour of the city. So probably gonna get some food and then I'm going to prepare for editing my video. I decided it was a pretty enough day to go actually get my food. It's so comfortable out here. Again, it's 70 degrees. Um, they have a haunted trolley tonight that I was like, oh, I would be so cool to take a haunted trolley to see the sights. Like you can take it during the day or you can take it during the evening. And I was like, oh, I should take it during the evening so I can see like the haunted sites. It is like four days away from Halloween, but I decided it might be cold. So I might as well. I'll do the one tomorrow while it's actually warm and see Asheville during the actual day. So I am walking to the restaurant. I didn't bring Winnie with me because although it's a pet friendly hotel, I don't know if the restaurant hotel is pet friendly. So I am now back. It is 5 58 p.m. I'm in the process of about to upload my video. This is my Monday video. This is going to be my Wednesday video. As you can see, I'm already prepared, so I'm not really gonna have to edit today. Both my Monday and Wednesday video are ready to go. My day in the life video. I have my food over here. Winnie is over here munching away at her food. Oh, if you guys are wondering what this is on the floor, I am too. I think there used to be a bigger area rug here. I don't know why they have this small area rug, but didn't do the deed to get rid of all of this because it lines the room. It kind of throws the room completely off, in my opinion, but it's like it goes down the hallway too. So Winnie is eating her food, I'm eating my food, and I'm about to upload and then watch some TV. I don't know why when I turned the TV on, it was on Fox News. I don't know why this is the automatic channel that it's on, but I'll find something else. And in the meantime, if you guys haven't uh, today as I'm uploading this, you guys need to watch my vlog video. But make sure you're watching all my vlog videos too. I want you guys to be part of the loop and bringing you in more of my life. So I'm going to upload this. going to finish my meal. The burger is actually really good. And find something on TV to watch. A movie, why not, perhaps. Going for our evening walk. 7.40 p.m. and I'm just getting her her last minute walk in before I change into my jammies and curl in to watch something good. So I've migrated to the bedroom at this point. I'm going to move the pillows out of here. I don't plan on using them. I talked about this in my one video where I don't really need pillows. Like I don't need a soft mattress. I don't need like pillows. I can sleep on the floor and fall asleep peacefully. So I'm not going to use these pillows. I've just been leaning my back against it just now, but I'm not going to put my head on them because of COVID and these pillows look kind of disgusting. Now it is 9.32. Uh, Winnie, <laughs> you guys want to know where Winnie is? There's Winnie. You can kind of see her. She does this at home too. So this, her sleeping up under the bed or her laying down up under the bed is something she'll do at my house. When I go to my mom's house, you can typically find her under a bed. She might even sleep under there. I'm be completely honest with you guys. She might even sleep under there. Uh, so she can either sleep in her bag or she'll sleep under the bed. I know it's weird. I hope this bed is stable. It looks like it has some beams under it. I don't weigh that much. So I'm always scared. Like what if I got the one bed where it collapses on top of her? Uh, but I digress. I'm gonna watch some more TV. I also brought my planner. So I'm going to spend some time planning. I got a new little clip to help me get to the day because I used to just flip through. And now I, like I even planned today. <laughs> um, but not largely a lot of the day, if you notice. I just planned uh, <laughs> the morning and getting here and vlogging. Don't have anything planned for tomorrow because it's going to be a seize the day plan. I already have Wednesday planned. I'm off Wednesday. Tomorrow is a free day, but I'm, I am going to add some things to my planner for this weekend. I just need a weekend plan what I'm going to film in terms of content. I really do want to take this hair out of my head and I'm trying to figure out when I will film my final thoughts, whether it'll be this day, probably this day because then 
I'll need to figure out what I'm gonna do this day. So I'm just gonna content plan and then go to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So now I am up, it is 8.16. You can't really see it, but at 8.16 a.m. I planned on, and I have alarm set for waking up at 8.30, but natural body not wanting me to sleep. I slept in the bed and Winnie slept where you guys last saw her, at sleep under the bed up in the bed all freaking night so um and she naturally gets out of there which should be pretty soon hopefully i will take her out and we can get the day started such beautiful homes but again I cannot understand how people live on an incline like that that'd be so hard I would constantly be rolling down this especially with snow I forget that it snows here too my gosh with snow I just be continuously rolling down that hill and Winnie and me almost fell down this hill So I took my shower, I put my clothes on, I haven't done my makeup yet, I really haven't done my hair either. I was hoping that I had brought a headband in my luggage because I forgot that. Um, if you watch my products video, which in real time I'm uploading Wednesday, as you're watching this, it's been up for probably two weeks, so, but I talk about you need a headband because it saves you from having to do stuff. I'm glad I had packed one or it had just had it in my travel suitcase. I literally just put clothes in there because I was wishing on a prayer that I had my bonnet in there, had my headband, had my lotions, Too Faced, toothbrush, and it just all worked out. So it is 9.16 a.m. I just ordered breakfast from the restaurant here on site. So after I eat, probably be time to put on my makeup, put on my face a little bit, not go as heavy as I did yesterday because girl, your child was out here trying to scrub that eyeliner off. Um, and then we will head out and go on a tour of the city, see what's out here. Probably check out, check out was at 11, but we'll of course check out sooner than that. now we are at the visitor center we signed up for a tour so kind of like my last video where i gave you a tour of charlotte i guess today i'm giving you a tour of Asheville. and winnie's coming too
What did the newspaper say? Well, I'll apologize first for the language I'm about to use, and then I'll tell you what the newspaper said about this neighborhood when it was completed. Quote, the beautifulest neighborhood in town. Not pretty language at all. The beautifulest neighborhood. Ain't good grammar. Down here on the right, D12 opened in 1913. Paid for with drug money. <laughs> I like to see who's listening. Edwin Wiley Grove was a summer clerk in a So we just got off the trolley. It was so much fun. It is 1.30. Winnie did such a big girl job. You did so good, Winnie. You did so good. Um, she will be, just for people who don't know how old she's, she's a toy poodle. I get that question a lot anytime she's in a vlog. And she will be seven months on November 1st. So she's really good, well behaved for her to be, I know she's gonna take a nap because she did not take a nap the whole ride. She did really good for her to be still very in a puppy phase. Like they have uh, their rebellious stage, I think between seven and eight months where they forget everything they learned while being a good puppy. But she's still very, very good. Um, didn't bark once, didn't cry once, didn't move around once. Of course, didn't use the bathroom once. Didn't do anything really weird throughout the tour. And she did so awesome. I'm so very proud of her. She's gonna get chicken nuggets today. We're gonna get you some grilled nuggets from Chick-fil-A just because you did so amazingly well. But yeah, it was great to see Asheville. Every time I'm here, I'm like, I'm moving here. I just can see me moving here. If you guys saw throughout the video, there's so many homes with the big porches uh, just because, like the guy said during the tour, this was a big mecca for rich people back in the day when they would be stuffy up north you know in New York and stuff like that they would come down here and uh, it would cure like tuberculosis like big diseases back in the early 1900s um, so if you see if you notice like almost every home had a porch here which for somebody who has very bad asthma if you guys have seen some of my vlogs I talk about how very bad asthma every time I'm here I can like just breathe easier I just feel like there's no strainage I just feel so good when I come to Asheville feel so don't let anything happen to Charlotte because I will 100% live here like it they have so much outdoor dining if you saw people out here eating on like a Tuesday if you saw my vlog that I uploaded yesterday in real time weeks ago if you're watching it later um, you saw how Charlotte was outdoor dining here on a Tuesday they had people out here dining like on a regular day so and it's a big tourist city so it probably was tours maybe not as many locals but felt really good I think we're gonna go back home though it's two o'clock I don't want to be in like the foot of Charlotte traffic even though I haven't really been out in Charlotte traffic since Rona like I don't know what five o'clock traffic looks like with Rona but I don't even want no parts of it just in case so yeah we're just gonna hit the road me and the Winster put a podcast on and we'll be heading back to the Queen City. So I'm now back. It is 4.18 p.m. And I think this is where I'm gonna close the vlog out because your girl's tired. Um, and I showed you what I needed to show you today. I went on my day trip, or it's not a day trip, an overnight trip. I know to people who watch this who are extroverted are like, what do you mean a solo trip? But my introverts out there, my fellow introverts know, I just wanted a solo trip. I've gone to the movies by myself. I definitely had food and dinner and lunch all by myself plenty of times. So I felt comfortable doing that, but I've never gone on a trip trip. And I, I put in my goals for 2020 that I did want to go on a solo trip this year at the beginning of the year in January. In my 30th year, I was like, I'm 30 this year. I just really want to go on a solo trip. And then Rona hit. And so I'm almost at the end of my 30th year. My birthday is next month and I will no longer be 30. And I just really still wanted to do that solo trip. So I'm glad I got it in. I had so much fun. And I know, again, to people who have like much more fuller lives, they love some libations. I love a good, you know, wine here and there 
there too but for people who are like more outgoing it seems like a very like chill like historic trip but if you guys watch my apartment tour you saw this in my apartment tour you saw my coffee table you saw the book I have on here it's about Asheville so even you, you should know that um, it's all about the Biltmore house it's all about the establishment of Asheville as a city so even the tour guide it was a two-hour tour was given actual facts and I'm sitting over here like I know a lot of this stuff like he was asking questions and he's like what what about this and now I was like I know the answer to that but I don't want to seem like some kind of nerd who knows all I feel things so he'll be like you might as well live here and I'll be like you right I might as well uh, I, uh, I see a house right there is that for sale I might be post it up here so i really enjoyed my trip i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm trying to do more showing not telling i know in my past a lot of my vlogs have been more tell and not show so i'm trying to show more i'm trying to evolve in my vlogs so i'm tired if you can notice i'm hot too it's a little warmer here than it was it was like 70 perfect weekend this weekend it's 70 something degrees there 73 it's a little bit warmer here we're out the mountains it's like 76 here today so i gotta come out the sweater right now but i i loved bringing you guys along the journey if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't give it a big thumbs up again comment down below how you think i'm doing with my vlogs anything i need to change anything that i need to add these vlogs are for you so you guys don't feel bad if you hurt my feelings. I won't be hurt. Let me take my sticker off. Had fun on the trolley today. If you want to see any other city in North Carolina, let me know down below. There's other cities I love in North Carolina. We're such an amazing state in my opinion. Let me know. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel too to keep up with what I got going on. Follow me on Instagram at leelavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time. And we will see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.